So I've been using my iPhone 15 Plus for the last couple of weeks, and one thing I always like to do when I get a new iPhone is create custom ringtones. And honestly, the best and easiest way to do this is to use the app GarageBand. Now, GarageBand actually should come pre-installed on your iPhone, but if it's not, it takes like maybe 10 or 15 seconds to download from the App Store. It's actually kind of a bigger... Uh, bigger file to download. But anyways, we're going to open it up, kind of go through this. I also hope you guys enjoy this really slick looking Batman wallpaper I've been using. I've had it up for, I want to say, the last few days. It's blue, it's cool, and yeah. Okay, let's get back to the point here. All right, so when you open the GarageBand app up, you want to go here, and then you want to click on the plus icon in the top right-hand corner. Then you want to choose the audio recorder in the tracks tab. All right, the next thing you want to do is click on the third icon in the top left of the screen, as you could see right here, and then you want to click on the loop icon in the top right-hand corner as well. Okay, then you want to choose the Files tab. So you're going to select the Browse Items from the Files app, and then you want to tap on the audio track you want to use that you've already downloaded on your iPhone as your ringtone. Now, this is going to import the track to the file section, of the loop and then you could drag the imported file to the left of the screen and let it go and this is basically where it's gonna you know put the song and then you could you know start cutting it editing it whatever you want to do okay and then when you're good to go you're gonna just click and um, hold the share button right here and then you're gonna select it as a ringtone in the middle of the screen lastly you're gonna export this in the top right hand corner and then you're gonna save it in the sounds and haptic section of the settings app and this is where you're gonna use your iphone's new ringtone and that's it guys so we're gonna go check it out here and if i went a little fast obviously um you know go back a little bit but i've done this so many times you know probably done this like 300 times it's pretty crazy because i always like to create custom ringtones but anyways Yep, that's how you do it. Pretty simple, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Like I said, it's always been GarageBand that makes it super easy to create, you know, custom tones on whatever iPhone you got. And because we got the 15 Plus in, you know what I'm saying? I just had to make it happen. Okay, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little tip. Quick update here with the 15 Plus. I'd also like to point out you guys can get on our tech newsletter where we send out one email a week on only the good stuff directly below in the description. As always, thanks for watching this, guys, and we will see you all in the next video.